Well, good morning, Ephraim. Uh, like always, uh, it's a privilege to to serve you uh, on these Sunday mornings. Um, you know, with, with there's so much that we could teach on and and what have you, but uh, it's like Darren said. There's some things he just can't get away from, and it seems there's some things that I can't get away from, and I don't know whether that's a cop out sometimes, or, uh, but but I I, I really truly uh, want the best for all of you. You're pretty grounded in scripture, the most of you that that tune in. Uh, But my heart is that we are about to face one of the most devastating times that this planet will ever see. I mean, Messiah talks about it. And we can shove it off and call it this and call it that. And... The reality is we we have to know what's going on out there because you see if you're well informed, and I know most of you are, okay? I, I know that. I know you search stuff out, but I still have an obligation, and that is to you, uh, fellow Ephraimites, the remnant, wherever we are, right? And uh, so... Let's open up in prayer. Father, in all humility, Father, you said we were to be servants. Father, help us to be servants. For this is about you. This is about your kingdom. Even Messiah said when we pray, pray that your kingdom would come and that your will would be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we're living in trying times and I'm not telling you anything new. But I thank you that we have your covenant. We have your word. And we are hooked into you. And that you will look after us because your word says you will not see us ashamed. So for all, Father, who are out there who are struggling in one form or another, may we lean on the full 